Great, so now we have the demo write XML program which is method, which is quite a bit complex. It creates an order and then it saves it. And let's split it into two sensible parts and the biggest thing that I would like to do is create a method that has a returns an order POCO and say get order POCO based on order ID because I would probably need it in more places than one and this is way too many things at the same time. So I'm going to take this code from here and put it here. I'm going to say here var o equals get order poco, which will get two, 10, 2, 4, 9 as a parameter. And over here, we're going to replace the 10, 2, 4, 9 with the parameter that we've received. And at the end, we're going to return o, the objects we've just created. We also don't need to have all of this over here because we are setting it over here based on the actual order. Wait. So now our code seems a lot nicer. I have get order poco with a number. It will return the order and I can save it to XML. And I can save multiple orders and do many things around that. Let's just run it and see that it works. And our XML has changed and saved everything that we wanted. And if we want to change this to 250, we'll run it. And our XML will change to reflect order 250.